Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, welcome to my home, and welcome to my kitchen. I am the Prepared Patriarch, and this is SHTF Recipes Volume 2, okay? I'm going to show you now what we're going to prepare. If this is your first time watching SHTF Recipes, it is just as you've guessed, um, we use ingredients that we prep, that we store uh, for a rainy day, for a bad day. Uh, you know, we kind of don't want to use these, but if we ever have to use our preps, um, we're going to go over our use of lentils, okay? And I like Goya, Goya everything, all day, every day. Everything Goya. Goya is great. Not only do they have superior products, their CEO is a stand-up guy in my book. Now I try to go as, as um, you know, SHTF as possible. So we're gonna bust out some uh, free, uh, freeze dried, some vacuum sealed rice from our 50 pound sacks that we have put away. I'm gonna open one of those. Um, also going to use Vienna sausages in our lentils that's what we cook them with we're going to use some bone broth ghee is going to be our in place of oil or butter or anything like that we're going to use ghee which is a, a shelf stable it's supposed to be a um, forever foods I don't know it's got a best by date but some people say it's, it's a forever food that it never expires so we'll see how it goes now as far as fresh stuff if you've got a garden okay an shtf and you can grow some cilantro uh, go right ahead pick some cilantro this is a colombian style lentils okay that's the way we're doing it that's how uh that's how I like it, that's how we're gonna make it, that's the way I know how. If you got a pepper, if you got an onion, some carrots, potatoes, uh, a chili, good, fine, great. Uh, if not, your only staples that you need, your must-haves, okay, are, and I'm sure you guys will not be too surprised by this, if you, if you know me at all. Is this right here and this okay if you've got these two you can make anything um, and I know my first episode one I did a Latin flair on uh, I did rice and beans with chicken in like a one-pot wonder uh, today I'm gonna do it separate I'm gonna do lentils even though it's still a Latin flair I guess that's just I don't know what came to my mind today. That's what I wanted to make. So next week I'm going to do something else. Either we'll do go Italian, maybe Indian, um, but we'll see. You're going to need some bouillon cubes. So I'm going to prep this up, chop this up. I'm going to wash my rice, measure it. Um, I'm going to cook the whole bag of lentils. Okay, in a one-pound bag. These get pretty uh, pretty big. They expand more than rice. So I got to. I got a big enough pot this time. We won't do any transfers uh, mid cooking. Um, all right, let me do a little chopping, get my uh, mise en place set up, and we'll get right back. Okay, so there's some people that wash their rice, some people don't wash their rice. I don't understand why you wouldn't wash your rice, um, even if it's organic or whatever. You should always wash your rice. I learned that from my wife. Uh, I never used to wash my rice, but you gotta wash your rice. And I wash it, now I really wash it. I wash it until it, the water runs clear, okay? You can get a little bowl under it, if you want. Or uh, just, to, just to gauge how the water's running. Is it running clear? No, it's still cloudy. You can let it sit in water 
and then keep changing it, keep changing the water it's sitting in. Or you can just keep it up. I think this is my favorite method. I use my fingers a little bit sometimes. Alright, can you see? It's barely, barely, barely cloudy. Okay, now it's clear. Clear enough. Okay. So this was one cup, exactly one cup of rice. And here we got going. Get some water. I'm going to teach you how to make the world's most perfect rice. If I can find my measuring cup. There it is. Here it is. Just getting some water. So you want to just get equal amounts. So I fill this to the top of rice and I fill it to the top of water. If you use a cup, uh, an iced tea glass, a whatever, a coffee cup, a mug, a little bowl, measuring cup, whatever it is, I do equal parts because you wash the rice, you wash it well, it's already got some moisture on it that 1 to 1.5 ratio, 1 to 2 ratio, forget all that. And just put water in first, plain water, okay? We're not doing starting oil, butter, none of that. We're just putting in the water in the pot. Um, gotta let it come to a boil. As that's boiling, let's go ahead and this big pot we got back here. Okay, it's already on. Nice. So we're using ghee, like I told you. We're gonna start. Uh, I'm not gonna incorporate the bell pepper. I want to make this as uh, shtf shtfe as possible. So we're gonna imagine canned carrots, canned potatoes, and some dehydrated onions, dehydrated garlic. Okay. Gotta start with a little bit of there you go. And this recipe is not a very particular recipe, like you got to be very particular measuring everything and eyeball it. You don't even have to put the vegetables. You can just do your um, lentils with uh, water. Just boil some lentils in water that's seasoned with uh, the adobo and the sazon. And you're good and if you got an and bullion so these three products right here with lentils and water you'll be fine as long as you got rice to serve it over so we're gonna let these vegetables cook just a little bit you don't have to get tender once the onions start to sweat, that's it. We'll add the lentils, we'll add the water. Our water, speaking of water, our water for our rice is boiling. Let's compensate for evaporation. This is when you do your, your fat, okay? 
whether you want to use olive oil or butter, as I previously stated, you add it now. Okay, I put a tablespoon, two, two tablespoons of the ghee and salt. But in, listen, in real life, like regular, today, tomorrow, before SHTF, during SHTF, all you need to put in rice is uh, butter and salt. That's it. And uh, you gotta cook it nicely. Get the good ratio. Salt according to your taste. Take a look. It's just, you know, once that starts to boil, once that comes to a boil, we're going to cover it and it's going to cook for 20 minutes exactly. No more, no less. 20 minutes. You get your lid ready. If you want to grab a piece of tin foil, you just Acts as a gasket, makes it a little tighter. Oops. So we're starting, we got bubbles coming around the sides in the boiling process. But not quite yet. We're gonna check our vegetables. So just made that tight seal, tight gasket, and you want to turn it down to a very small flame. And we had trouble with this last time, if you remember. Time to cook, and to cook time. What is this? Oh, no, no, not cook time. Timer. Okay, timer. So, 20 minutes. Twenty minutes. The clock has started, okay? So, our veggies are starting the onions are starting to sweat. Now what you're gonna do, you got a bag of lentils, right? Ready to go. So we're gonna just pump it in there. It may seem like just a little bit of lentils to a whole lot of uh, vegetables, right? But believe me, those lentils are gonna expand. Are they ever gonna expand? So let's get some water in there.
Oh, that's much better. Okay. So you just kind of cover it, maybe surpass it a little bit. It's not that serious. If you got a little bit of uh, more watery lentils, then that's fine. Uh, the next day, they're going to dry out in the refrigerator and in the reheating process. Um, you're going to put it over rice, so it's actually a little bit better if it is a little watery. Take a bouillon cube or a bouillon powder, put a little bit, or a lot, whatever you want. Then this is where the magic happens with the adobo. Just shake some in there. I mean, you could just use salt, pepper, whatever you want. You know, seasoned salt. I'm going to put in three envelopes of Sazon. This way. They're like little sugar, big sugar packets. And this is going to cook for about the same time as the uh, rice, okay, 20, well a little bit longer. The rice will be done at 20, we'll give this another maybe 10 minutes, so this will cook for 30 minutes. And now, you might be asking why I didn't add the Vienna sausages, that's optional, you don't have to add it. You can, or you can skip it. You can do bacon, you can throw on a ham hock, you can put uh, ground beef, or leave it vegan. What I am going to do is... Cilantro. Optional. This is completely optional as well. Not necessary. This is a very versatile dish, well, lentils. Lentils are, you can make it a million and one different ways. All right, so I'm gonna put a lid on the lentils and uh, we'll check back when it's done, guys. So as we're cooking, we got about four minutes left on the rice. I want to take this opportunity to have a little chat, um, maybe discuss a little nutritional info with you guys. Um, oh, okay. Ghee is a fat. Fat is super important, okay? Uh, you have to have fats. If you want a, a, an interesting read, Google uh, the, rabbit, the rabbit starvation or the rabbit famine. It's about a story about the gold rush people in the early uh, 20th century that um, starved to death. They were eating a lot of protein, tons and tons of protein, but weren't getting enough fat. Um, if you look at the keto diet, you have to consume more fat than you do protein. More grams of fat than you do protein in order to lose weight. Um, 
It's just, it's important. People think fat-free, fat-free. Fat-free isn't that good. I mean, it depends on your cholesterol, what kind of fats, how you're balancing it out. Of course, you got to balance, but, you know, fats are important. Make sure you have enough, whether it's olive oil, um, butter, ghee, vegetable oil, uh, coconut oil is a good one. And I just, before I was throwing out the package of lentils and I just looked at it, that recipe looks awfully familiar, doesn't it? Uh, it's just about identical to what I'm making. Uh, so if you wanna buy a bag of Goya lentils, it's got a good recipe on the back. Make sure you have enough lentils, guys. Beans, uh, cranberry beans, or pinto beans, or black beans, or kidney beans, or cannellini beans, which are also called great northern beans, or white beans. Uh, make sure you have a lot of rice. And it doesn't have to be white rice. If you prefer brown rice, it's okay. Brown rice goes bad after, I think, a year or two. You can't do the whole 35 years in a in mylar bag with brown rice, but maybe you don't need it. Maybe you're not looking to have a 30 year uh, bucket of rice. Uh, maybe you just want to do it for a year. For one year's food storage, you can do wild rice, brown rice, uh, freca, quinoa, any substitute for rice. Um, we have both regular long grain rice and uh, our preference is jasmine rice. If we're having just straight rice as a side to something but if it's if i'm gonna put something over you know like a stew maybe beans something over it we do uh regular white rice so we have both and i don't know if you guys know about bulgur bulgur is a cracked wheat it's a substitute for rice it comes highly highly recommended by nutritionists b-u-l-g-u-r i'm gonna do a video on that um, get your food get your water uh, we are, a lot of guys are, you know, just about this, that's not going to cut it because you got to eat, you got to drink, you got kids, and here we go. There's the beep beep. Let's check our rice. Stop. Not the light. All right. Okay. Let's go on. Sorry for the poor production camera work, but so do not let it go a minute more than 20 minutes, okay? 20 minutes is your limit. And look at that. Beautiful, beautiful rice. Okay, it's fluffy, or will be fluffy, tender. It's not mushy, it's not sticky. It is the most, make rice how I tell you, use my exact method, if you want, it's not for everybody. You know, my mother, my mother likes sticky rice. She makes it almost, not porridgey, but she uses more water, she cooks it longer. She likes it when it's a little, I don't know, sticky, I call it, but I'm not a fan. I like it fluffing, look at that, look at that. Oh, got a little cilantro in there. So this is amazing, amazing rice. I get it perfect every time. I never mess up rice. I, I got a good recipe. I tweaked it over the years. Well, years ago. Uh, now I got a good recipe, good method, and I don't change it. So this would be the time to add your sausages, your hot dogs, your bacon, your um, ham hocks, you know, your smoked, smoked ham, whatever, okay? Uh, my wife is not a fan of Vienna sausages or hot dogs or really any kind of processed meat she doesn't eat. She, not just, not because of uh, health concerns or anything. She finds it quite repulsive. 
which I, on the other hand, uh, quite enjoy my processed meats, very much so. My cardiologist will tell you. I'm just kidding. My triglycerides are fine. So, you get yourself... Oh, you know what? Let's talk about this. If you guys know what this is, this is the Chinese chef's knife, okay? I love this thing. I bought it at Restaurant Depot for 30 bucks. Okay, if you ever watched Yang Kang Cook back in the day. Yang Kang Cook and so can you. This is what he used. And uh, I find it to be very helpful. It's, it makes chopping, slicing, dicing much easier. You can get it on Amazon if you want, or whatever. Um, we got a few more minutes on the lentils, so we'll check back. So we were going at we've been going at it for quite a while now. The water was almost evaporated to where it was not uh, stirrable anymore, just barely any liquid, and the lentils still are not tender. Um, I'm going to see it's been 30 minutes and there's still a little bit mm, hard in the middle, a little bit too much bite. So I put another full, now this is a one cup glass, but I filled it to the top, poured it in there. I'm going to let it go with some more so it doesn't dry out. Once it dries out, it'll start burning on the bottom, start sticking. And, um, I'm going to take this opportunity to talk a little bit more because I like to talk so much. I won't miss an opportunity. Now, I think living in New Jersey has attributed to my, I don't want to say culinary prowess because I don't have culinary prowess, but I, I can find, you know, I can survive in the kitchen. Um, listen, I've made and eaten, uh, tamales with people from from Mexico in local restaurants and bars in the kitchens that I've befriended uh, I've made pierogi and galumki with Polacks and Ukrainians in their delis butcher shops restaurants in the kitchen with them that I have befriended from the neighborhood uh, we made brajol and Manigot from scratch and Christmas with um, a local police sergeant and his mother uh, for the for the annual department party uh, Christmas party I mean so many experiences food experiences that I've had have been ethnic have been for different global um, <clears throat> experiences with from people from different parts of the world I think have really broadened my adaptability you know some people you know open the fridge sometimes my wife or whoever you know they open the fridge and they'll see nothing but I can create something out of something all the time which is you know it's it's good it's good to know that sometimes but that's where I get it from it's growing up in a very diverse culturally diverse area of the United States you pick up a little bit of something from everybody and you make your own little thing with it your own style I think I have my own style um, but one I forgot to use the bone broth by the way um, you could have used that for the rice but I just tasted a little bit of rice and I, as I've been tasting the lentils the ghee is giving it a little bit I've um, of a uh, flavor it's got a very specific flavor let's put it that way it's not bad but it's you can taste it it stands out um, we did mostly baking with it I haven't cooked with it too much like this in stews even though I know you can um, but it isn't bad I would have probably went with regular butter but in a situation where we don't have it, we'll have ghee. And there you go. 
All right, so we're going to give it another 10 more minutes. So we're probably going to hit the 40 minute mark on the lentils, okay? 20 on the rice, golden rule, and 40 on the lentils. Let's see, we'll check back in another 10 minutes. Okay, it's good, it's done. I just tasted it. The lentils are tender, tender enough. They're not mushy, they're not overcooked. Um, when stirring, if you see some of the skin start to come off and a couple of them just barely start to get crushed, but you can taste as you go along too. But anyway, that's how you know they're done. Um, let's take a nice little visual little shot. Okay. the finished product and this will last a few days in the fridge if it's gonna it's gonna dry up um, but just add a little water microwave it or put it in a pan with a little water just to reconstitute it just to heat it up put it over rice and you're good to go now let's let's serve some up. This part's not necessary. You can just put it right in your bowl. But if you're cooking for YouTube, you can be a little fancy, right? I'm blocking the drawer with my tripod. We'll get a ladle. Take a ladle of our lentils with potatoes, carrots. Okay. And there you have it, folks. That's my favorite way to prepare lentils. Um, but try it with the hot dogs or Vienna sausage just sliced up. It's mighty tasty like that. I think you'll enjoy it or leave it vegetarian. Cook it with stock, cook it with water. It's very, very versatile. And this is piping hot, but I'm going to try it because that's what we do on SHTF recipes series. We try what we cook. Um, we got any spoons? I went through so many spoons, but we got, we got more. Okay. If you stayed with me and watched up to here, you probably are a subscriber, but if you're not, go ahead and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Hit the like button. Um, I like likes, I like subscriptions. It's fun, it's great. Um, this is a great platform to meet new people. Well, not meet, but get ideas. I appreciate all of your <clears throat> suggestions, all of your comments very, very much. Uh, this is really has been a great deal of fun for me and we are at 285 subscribers which is absolutely mind-blowing I'm so humbled and quite taken back and and very happy for uh, I mean 285 that's that's a lot for me I would never have thought we would be here uh, but thank you all who have subscribed 
I appreciate, I appreciate every one of you. I appreciate all your comments. Um, God bless you all. Thank you. And let's try these lentils. And lentils is a biblical food too. It goes from, from the olden days. Um, don't forget that. Here we go. That is good. That is good. 11 grams of protein per serving, which is just a few ounces. Okay. This can replace meat very easily. Lentils are very high in protein, are very nutritious. Served with rice, you have complex carbohydrates, protein, you got your fats, you got fiber, lots and lots of fiber. You got to eat your fiber. Don't just eat MREs, okay? In the SHTF, you got to have your fiber intake, complex stuff. That's it for me. Thank all of you for watching. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate each and every one of you. God bless you all. God keep you safe. And may God give you the ability to keep you and yours safe. See you next time.